If you truly understand extreme ownership, it's not just retroactive, it's, it's preemptive. What we all like to do, right? We have someone out there who's going rogue and we're like, look at this idiot making a bad call. But who's responsible for that idiot? If, if I'm truly responsible for everything in my world, then where am I gonna position myself? You know, I've got these guys here that are, that are, that are you know, pretty confident and then I got this guy here who's a rock star and I can let him run with stuff and I got this guy here who's just, he's, he's, he's the guy I got concerns about. Where do I need to position myself? I'm gonna be a little closer to him. I'm gonna keep tighter reins on him. If Meade had been a little bit more proactive on that, and look, he had a lot of stuff going on. I understand all those things. But if he had a little bit more foresight and thinking, you know what, who's my problem core commander? It's Sickles, where's he at? Let me go talk to him. And engage with that problem before Sickles even executes, then maybe this whole thing doesn't happen. If you're thinking about those things, uh, you're gonna push yourself in a position where, where you, can, you can prevent stuff from happening and extreme ownership becomes preemptive.